<laughs> Alright, nerds. So, we're going to talk about the anatomy of chemical equations, okay? We're going to talk about what they look like, how we use them, etc. And this should be a relatively short video, so don't forget to take your notes and let's go. Okay, so, basically, they're, they're how we represent chemical change. So, by now, you should be familiar with the idea of, of chemical change. And this is a universal way that we can explain it so that any scientist will be able to look at our work and know exactly what we mean. All right, so we can do it with either word equations or formula equations. Both have the exact same format. And that format is, on the left-hand side, reactants, and on the right-hand side, products. This here means, it's not an equal sign, it means goes into, so these two reactants go into this product, but it's kind of like an equal sign in that everything that you change on this side of the reaction will have an effect on this side of the reaction, okay? That comes, that's pretty important in a minute. Okay, so let's have a look at one. Reactants to products. Magnesium plus oxygen, put them together, usually with fire. So what we could actually write is we could write energy up here. gives us magnesium oxide. All right, so if we were to write this as a formula, it would look like this. Mg plus O2 gives you MgO. What does that mean? Well, what that means is we have one magnesium atom plus two oxygen atoms, hence the little two down the bottom here, gives us a magnesium oxide molecule, which is one Mg, so one magnesium, one oxygen. Now remember, capital, they always start, each, ele each element always starts with a capital and any second letter in there is a lower case. So next we have, we have to balance it so it makes sense, okay, because right now you have two oxygens and one. That doesn't work because if we were to run with this one that we have here, if we were to run with this one we have here, we would only use up about half of the oxygens. See, because you've got two oxygens, one magnesium, but you only have one magnesium available, so you, there's gonna be an extra oxygen floating around, and it won't do that oxygen reactive stuff. So, we put two magnesium atoms for every oxygen molecule. Does that make sense? So we put this two at the front, um, and we go O2 here, which gives us two magnesium oxygens. Now let's have a look at that. How many magnesiums do we have on this side? Now we have two magnesiums, two magnesiums, how many oxygens? Two, magne uh, two magnesiums there, but two here because you've got this out the front. So if you've got that number out the front, that's called a coefficient, and that means you multiply everything that it's attached to. If it's the subscript, which is this one here, that means it's only multiplying that element, or that atom, really. So that's, that's our chemical equations. And we'll do some more of these in class, and we'll get used to them. Okay, good luck.